Hello and welcome to the Sat on My Buck channel where today I'm going to be talking about the Viking Beard Company Tash and Beard Wax. Yes, can also be used in the beard, but I have just used it in my Tash as I have a queue of products being tested on my beard. Now it's a very, very simple blend. It literally is beeswax and coconut oil. And the result is there. It's uh, clearly the beeswax is a coloured beeswax, you know, some can be quite pale and some can be yellow and it is a yellowy coloured tash wax that has really got a very good firmness to it indeed. It's available as a 15ml as I have here for 4 99 or you can get it in a 30ml for 6 99 from vikingbeardcompany.co.uk. Now the scent on the shield wall, as this one here is called, is Pettigrain and black pepper. Now I haven't really come across Pettigrain before. It is definitely woodsy and you have that warmth of the black pepper in the background but for me it doesn't work for me personally but scents are very personal and obviously you know some will like things some others won't but as for the wax itself well as I say it's quite firm I scoop some out with the end of my comb work it in between my fingers and thumbs and work it in and it does a good job it's in there today I don't have the best tash in the world but it does a good job of keeping the tash pair out of my mouth and getting the words in a bit of a mucking fuddle there all in all it's a very nice wax indeed now a few little criticisms if I may the labeling is very very simple very simple indeed and wouldn't conform to the CPSR labeling standards where you have to have addresses and batch numbers and use by etc allergens the lot on there so you know that's something I I do make people aware of now you know I'm a little bit pro CPSR it could be CPSR it just may be that the labels themselves aren't you know it's not a bad wax you know scent for me i would personally choose another one but the tash wax itself i'd be quite happy using on a daily basis i'm going to give it a 90 out of 100 just for the label in there and the scent for me not so much that's vikingbeardcompany.co.uk i've got some an oil and a balm coming up later they're sat in the queue waiting to be tested and that is it now, the ladies at the Viking Beer Company take it all very seriously, the Viking business, they will reply. So I think one of them is called Sarah and she calls herself Maiden Sarah, I believe. They take the whole Viking business very, very seriously indeed. And I've gone and forgotten the pouch that these products came in. I will put a photo up there. It is a beautiful handmade leather pouch made in Italy, I believe, that they send some of their products out in. And it's very authentic for the whole Viking type feel the the authenticity type effects don't use words you can't keep going richardson go and check them out have a look at their products and that's that don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time take care